Well, it's a great night to be a Warriors fan. They came out with the win tonight at home, taking the lead in the series against the Nuggets 2-1. to one. But the competition among fans is still going strong. They are battling over where the Warriors will end up. Kristen Ayers has the tug of war from Oakland tonight. Kristen? That's right, and you can see the fans are still pumped up right now. Very excited. I mean, this truly was an exciting game. A dogfight all the way to the end, and certainly a tug of war amongst the fans over which city, San Francisco or Oakland, will make the Warriors the hometown team. Playoff game three. And the real rivalry was happening off court. It is a competition, though. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A battle over which city the Warriors will call home. Oakland, which legally has the team until at least 2017. Or... San Francisco, definitely. Which is courting the Warriors with the promise of a spectacular waterfront stadium. It's a debate that is coming between friends. San Francisco, okay. Oakland! That's where they were from, so that's where they need to be. So this is like dividing your friendship. It's all right, then it's got to be that. And putting the mayors of Oakland and San Francisco at odds. The whole San Francisco Bay stands behind the Warriors. San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee tweeted last week, Oakland Mayor Gene Kwan tonight, Oakland's got the best fans around. This year for the Warriors was the second uh, highest attendance that the Warriors have ever had since they've been uh, here in Oakland. Brian Caldwell, vice president of Save Oakland Sports, has doubts San Francisco can pull off a pricey waterfront stadium. It's definitely not a done deal in San Francisco. But San Franciscans are optimistic. Tonight, a group calling itself Warriors on the Waterfront hosted half a dozen Warrior watch parties, tellingly on the San Francisco side of the bay. We're seeing just a, a great um, amount of support for the Warriors coming to this world-class city on the waterfront and a, and a new world-class arena. A sign that the war over the Warriors is just beginning. And if you saw the game, you know it was a nail biter all the way to the end. Nothing like a good nail biter. But these fans are going to have to wait another five years to see whether San Francisco.